Hello friends, it's Vivek Agrawal from St. Xavier's High School, Raipur. I study in class 10 and I am in group E of Viz Juniors. So my topic is how corruption can be nailed down by using technology in India. Uh, there are two reasons for which I have chosen this topic. The first one is that everyone was making their project on e-commerce website. So I decided to do something unique. Uh, and the second reason is that uh, corruption is the biggest threat to our economic development. So let's see how corruption can be nailed down by using technology. Let's divide the ideas into four categories. Big and better data risk management and anti-corruption softwares, automation in text collection. Number three, mobile apps to make information more accessible. Number four, taking inspiration from other initiatives around the world. Let's look at the first heading, big and better database management. It allows sharing of information which improves data related efficiency, address capacity problems and increase collaboration between various departments. Anti-corruption software are specifically designed for detecting and responding to frauds and illegal administrative procedures. Government can create a software through which they can cross-check data of various public and private institutions. The category number two, automation in tax collection and revenue. In India, taxpayers are hoping to pay less and tax administrators are hoping to earn more. This can lead to bribery and corruption in the tax office. So automation is the best way to deal with this. Government can give incentives for paying online. Hopefully, our government is working on this after demonetization. You can see the revenue chart of Afghanistan, which states the revenue of 2003 and 2004. 2003 is the, is the revenue before implementation of the automatic accession. 2004 is the revenue of after automatic accession. In 2003, the revenue was 200 million and increased to 2 billion in 2004. So that's quite a big difference. The category number 3, mobile applications and websites. The first in the list is I paid a bribe. In this, people can report if they had paid a bribe to someone and the government will try to tackle those down. World Bank this app functions very similarly to iPad Bribe. In addition, this app provides access to a list of banned companies and individuals. Taking inspiration and ideas from their initiatives around the world. The first one is Open Corporates. It presents the database of all the open companies and encourage them to keep their database open for the general public. Government can also use this database to keep an eye on the company. The second on the list is OCCRP, Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project. It is an investigative reporting platform in which reporters report the acts of corruption and the organization investigates the report and sends it to the government to take action against the charged company or an individual. The next is My Society. When a citizen wants an information, they can leave a message it brings the data to the concerned authority and then you will get to know what the authority is doing. It will help the authority to serve the public better. Things we have to keep in mind. We have to be aware that using technology to fight corruption is not risk free. So to avoid hacking and other cyber attacks, government should adopt tight security measures. And the main important thing, we should keep apps and websites simple and and it should be integrated with the database of the government. Now let's see how I made my presentation. I used photo to create and edit the animation effects for my presentation. I used PowerPoint to work on slides and to edit the text. I used Sony Vegas Pro to record the screen and the voiceover. Lastly, I would like to thank Wiz Juniors and Clone Futura for giving me and everyone this platform where we can showcase our talent. So, 
Bye-bye, guys. We'll see you in Mumbai.